Paul out first thing this morning. He went out and picked up old dirty stove. But this stuff right here, oops, all you have to do is knock that crap off of it. That's scrap metal. This is uh, dirty stainless. Dirty stainless because the burner parts are stainless. So I always take them off, remove that clip. It's generally pretty easy to take off with a pair of pliers. You move that little clip out there, you got dirty stainless. And uh, the rest of this is all just steel. There is in the back of this some, some of them uh, silver contacts. I don't, I don't mess with them too much on stoves. So all I'm going to do in this thing is get my aluminum all thrown off so I can put it back in the back where it goes. Just keep my shred steel on here. I want to get my steel off of here also. I mean, um, my copper. I got copper wire that I picked up the other day. So, stainless, stainless. I'd love to see these to be aluminum, but they're not. In nice shape though. Surprised how good a condition they're in. I just bought some new ones. One, two, three, four. four pieces of dirty stainless like I say if you want to take these apart get the wires out of them that's probably about as far as I will go with it I just set my magnet down and it got picked up all kinds of stuff and I keep this in my pocket as soon as it hit the deck it got all kind of rusty stuff on it from down there all right so get my aluminum and just throw it out. Here to the side. This old sheet. Oh, it's old sheet. Aluminum. Scale nine. Old sheet. I'll fold that up too into smaller pieces. And this here. Don't think. I don't think. I think this is called extruded. Separate that, anyways. Let me get my gloves before I go any further. I'm getting my gloves. Okay, this is the old sheet aluminum. The rest of it is breaker boxes. Big table. Nice. Get all that off of here. now that copper and then get a whole bunch of uh, cable wire this cable just ran through that whole building cable 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 all shred junk Make sure I get all my copper off of here. And shred thin. thin stuff. Get this trailer ready for a load. I gotta get some stuff out of here, man. I got a got a garage being built around here soon. If I'm not ready for it, yeah, all kind of wire. Why ya? Some more in here. What's this? Steel pipe. Let's see. I'm 
just making sure I ain't got no more copper down here. I can take it out. Got here, what we got here? Cable wire, not that. Cable. I can get it disconnected from my copper. All right. All right. Grab my snips. Real quick here. I want it all. I want it all. Wire, wire, wire. Some of it's been burnt. Doesn't matter to me. Does not matter. It's burnt or not to me. Anything with anything with copper in it. A few more strands here. Copper. This place that I got this stuff from, by the way, burnt. And that is the reason I ended up getting this goodness. This is just all stuff and non-ferrous stuff. I'm just trying to keep it in the truck my ferris stuff because i picked it up kind of all together mixed up gotta unmix it unmix it not too bad this is all cable wire cable 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 what we got here Don't throw anything good away telephone wire that's about it here all right sweet so to the front. Tuck it right in the bottom. Right. Not much in that. This thing here, I don't like the back. It's so bulky. Just wondering if I can't take this thing apart with just a few screws. Make it a whole lot more manageable. So, let's do that. I just hate the way it is. Uh, let's try this screwdriver I just pulled out of that other truck. Right where I need to be. Yeah, there we go, look at there. And these nuts, I'll save the nuts too. Hey. Save them. sure if they're all going to come out as easy as these two or not I hope so that will make this small project a whole lot smaller Keep all these. I started keeping all my nuts and bolts. Eon, Ian, oops, Ian Matthew says keep them. So that's what I've been doing, keeping them. But I would like to make this thing smaller, much smaller. Just don't like what I'm dealing with right now. Uh, it's probably got one on the inside, of course. Mala. Plus I get eight or ten nuts and bolts.
scrapping. Scrapping is sometimes boring. And sometimes it's super exciting. You never know what you're gonna get. It's all according to what you're doing that day. I'm not gonna say I'm doing anything exciting, but I am going to throw away some things that, to be honest with you, maybe I even shouldn't. I mean, winter's coming, but so is spring, and I need my space back there clear. It's not like I can't fill it up again. I get, I really do get a lot of scrap, more than the average person as far as picking up. Getting rid of is my biggest thing. Getting rid of all this scrap, and I don't, because I try to do everything micro scrapping it and everything else and time i'm done i don't have time i just got a whole yard full of stuff unbelievable if i don't do something with it stand this thing. If i don't do something with it i'm not gonna be able to put my building back there oh i don't have pliers all right i just like to get that wheel off of there a rubber wheel plastic wheel Unfortunately, this one here is just uh, a bunch of metal. I don't think them things are going to come off like I was hoping. I was hoping to break this thing down a little more. Let's see what's going on right here. Oh, everything's yuck. Yeah, everything's yuck. yucked up it ain't happening if I can get this shelf out of the bottom of this thing get that shelf off that might help a little bit turn it upside down whatever it takes right whatever it takes just need there we go see how it's collapsing Get that shelf off of there. That's all I need it to do is collapse. It takes up things like this take up a lot, a lot of space. Oh, I've had a couple people request from me. Um, they're looking, they're looking for a grill, um, washing machine. Uh, the, the the drum itself because they want to make um fire pits out of them so uh i don't remember who that was whether it was ian or who but somebody in the uk recommended me saving them thing and uh the people were buying some fire pits so i have found that to be true whoever that was over there oh now i got it wheel was really the biggest problem ever. See if we can just get rid of that. Get it out of the way. There we go. Um, yeah, somebody mentioned that they sell them things for 15 or 20 bucks a piece. Well, I got a couple people asking about them. So, in my mind right now, I'm thinking, hey, that's, uh, instead of bringing it in, I can find somebody who wants it. That's even better. Then I can sell it to them and make money. All right. We got that thing to where I think it will fold the heck up. It's about time for Grandpa to take his damn coat off. Went ahead and, no, I went ahead and took the back off anyway. I figured I might as well get as much of this wire and brass that I can any ends that come off place to their brass 90 percent of them so, there's some copper there and uh in them white things right there are where the silver contacts are so 
sometimes I'll save them. I'll get rid of my bolts. Money. Oh, 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 don't fall. Go right on the ground. Shorter. That one. Yes, sir, baby, get it all. I'm gonna get it all. Not a lot of wire in these things, but any wire is better than no wire since you got it this far tore apart. What I say. Them pieces down there, they're brass. Get them pop out of there. That's brass. Brass to get out of there. We'll get it all. Now that thing that these wires are hooked to inside of there, now once you cut these wires, you won't go inside. Go ahead and get that piece. I mean, there you go. A few more wires there. What we got here? Looks like... Hmm, it looks like copper wire. Is that a piece of copper that goes down through there? Hmm, you're wrong. Come here, copper, copper. Uh, yeah. Look at that. That's a solid piece of copper right there. <coughs> That's something I didn't, I've never seen in a stove, so. Just hang on to that like that for now. Okay, what do I want to do here? I want to get in the oven. Now that I've got them screws, look at that thing. He's burnt in half. Never seen one burn up like that. All right, all I'm doing here is I've got the back panel and up the stove. I've taken all the wires out. I have removed all the dirty stainless, which consists of not these. Dirty stainless. Dirty stainless. It's called dirty stainless. You can get dirty stainless money for that at the scrap yard. Okay. Now micro scrappers take these. That little white thing. Because inside of that is, and it's not much, but there are it doesn't take much to get them off silver contacts and um, you can see them down there there's definitely silver contacts in there see that right there pull that back right down there in the bottom that's a silver contact that little white thing you're looking at it looks like on the back of that right there is another silver contact and if you lift up that other side you'll see two more one there and one little one right down there so i don't mess with these too much all i do for now i just knock them off throw them in a the five gallon bucket one day, one day i might find time to mess with them a little bit figure out where the best money is in them so right now they'll go in a five gallon bucket and now, this stove has had everything removed from it. From the wire to the, to the brass contacts, to the silver contacts. Um, pretty much, basically, everything except for that one there. I don't take that apart. I haven't, but hell, I could always knock it off and see what's in there. Looks like just a couple screws will take it apart. We'll save it to see what's in it later. In the meantime, this thing is ready and I'm going to get it up in front of this truck as tight as I can get it. Now I do not believe that these racks are stainless and they're not steel and this is my magnet I got that out of a microwave got that out of a microwave 
Just stick them on the side of my trailer. So, Chris, you said you could use a magnet. Find your magnets in microwaves. Pretty, pretty good magnets too to have. Look at that, the oven's even on. Look at the light. Got the oven light on. It's not even plugged in. Cool is that? more stuff we can get on here okay take off a few of these things here and like i told you i'm working on that power right over there today so i'm gonna bring it right over here to the back of my trail and start taking it apart excuse me after i clean this up so i'll be back after that because this is part of the stuff i'm going to cut up Thinking this is thinking this is aluminum down here. I'm gonna get it. Look at the aluminum bits. I know some of it is, so sometimes they can be a you know what? You like that right there, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna do my Megan I brought one over here. Is aluminum, which it is, and that piece is aluminum, but that's a piece of steel. I'll so clean it up as I go. Nice piece. Of and sometimes inside here, sometimes that piece is steel. If it's aluminum, matter of fact, find out quickly. And that one is. Cool. So you can leave them together. But it's aluminum. Aluminum. It doesn't take a whole lot to get these things um, taken apart. Some of them have a lot of stuff in them, some of them don't have much at all. But if you just keep your magnet next to you, you can find out, see? So aluminum. Find out pretty quick. Not all of them is going to come out anyway because uh, they've been there for a long time. But that's another piece of nice aluminum with a steel screw in it. There. Nice piece of aluminum. Yeah, aluminum. And I'd love to be able to get that right there. Oh boy. Let me see if this will come out of there. Come on, baby. So, anyway, everybody, down here at my local JAMA where my wife works out. Um, they're filming a show in Southport and Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson has been going there to work out at my wife's um, place where she goes to work out every morning. He's going in at evening though. That's the hour. No, it's not after hour. It's just right close to closing. Let's see if this thing come out of there. Another. <coughs> Good luck. Hmm. How's that on there? Get off here, you son, bitch. Lost tons of screws. Got all the screws out and make it number one. Number one has to be them screws ain't coming out too easy, boss. Sometimes they're yeah. stuck. That one's broke right off. It's rusted in two. Yeah. Oh yeah, it won't turn. That's won't even turn. Two, won't even turn. Hold number two. And then 
Love to get that out of there. much work. Right. Let's see if we can get out of this one. Oh, there's a lot of steel, but that looks like it might be something different. What is that? Let's see if it's worth taking off. Okay, it's aluminum. But it's gonna be hard to get that off of there. So with these gloves, I can probably or with my pliers, which I don't have out here either. I can bend that back and forth a couple times and get me a chunk of aluminum. Oh yeah. Oh shoot, that's pure copper. Copper. Look at that. You can see that in that camera? It's copper. What the hell? That's a copper strip right there, too. Look at that. Problem is. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. I like that. Goodness. I'm thinking it's some heavy duty copper right there. Scratch it as soon as I get these screws off. Oh, yeah, that's a pure piece of copper right there. Pure piece of copper. Heavy, heavy copper right there. Get this piece off of there somehow. Wow. Heavy duty copper. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside inside because that bolt's gotta come out of there, and that's just solid, solid copper. It's heavy duty. Pretty heavy duty. Let me get the rest of this out of here. Some nice stuff right there. Nice stuff. Alright, so we'll bring that in the shop and process it out. I just want to get some things taken apart. This trailer full of shred. Some trash out of here. Trash, trash. Trash. Tuck that right up in the side of there. That is solid. Oh yeah, that's a solid piece of copper right there, everybody. Solid copper. All right, let's just keep going or we're never gonna get done. Like I told you in the last video or two ahead of this one, all of this stuff has to go. Got another box right here. Got a nice chunk of steel. Got some fuse boxes we're gonna set them inside. Breaker boxes, I should say. Uh -huh. Next! I do save these for later. Another time. Trash. Oh, look at this. Nice piece of brass right there. I'd probably sell that instead of scrapping it. All right, what do we got to do to take this bad boy apart? We got some heavy duty stuff down here. This is copper. Heavy, um, is it aluminum or copper? I think it's copper. I wonder, what I really wonder is if I can get the two bolts right there loose. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a test. All right, so I need that. I need this. And looks like a 7 sixteenths. What do I got, millimeters? What do I got here? Nine sixteenths. I didn't think so. That's a half inch. Oh, that's it. Okay, 
there, baby. A little chunk of aluminum. A chunk of aluminum and some uh, steel on there. So that'll have to be taken apart later. Make that apart later. Oh, it's so nice. Look at there. Mm, that's nice looking. Oh, good man, we got the goodness comes out now. All right, I knew I had to go eventually. All right, goodness. Hey, see that wire. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Come on, baby. One more time. One more time in this game. Oh, what a thing. I didn't even want to come off of there. Look at that. All right. Scrapping off the back of my trailer today, guys. And the reason being, oh shoot, that went in the wrong spot. I was supposed to go out. All right, check it out. Got that part loose. I mean, one piece at a time. That's all I can tell you. If there's anything worth saving on here, see if you can get it. Looks like there's some nice aluminum down here. If. Get it off of there. Come on, baby. I know you won't come off of there. There you go. There's one. One. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 we might have dose here. Dosey dose. Sweet. Look at that. Look at that goodness. This comes from a local electrician, Tom, Thomas. Oops. Thomas and son, I say. Remember, I say my nuts and bolts. It still has a piece that needs to come out of there. But that's something that can go right into my shop and be processed in my shop on a cold night. I want to get the stuff tore down into a bucket like that that needs processing. That way, it will go from a big pile to a small bucket. And yes, that just leaves it down the road to be done, but that's a good thing because it's gonna get cold. Right now, I'm in, out here in a t-shirt. Hell, I can't even, I don't even know what the temperature is. Hey Siri, what's the temperature where I'm at? Let's see how warm we are. It's 61 degrees right now. Is that in Southport? That's pretty good. Yeah, Bowling Spring Lake, 61 degrees. And uh, 61 is pretty cool weather when you're working. Nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts. I want to save them. Let's see what I can do if I hit this thing with a hammer. There we go. Gosh. Big old piece of copper right there. Gosh. It's a beautiful piece of copper. So the reason why I'm not taking the bolts out is because they won't come out. And this is pure heavy duty copper. One piece of steel right there. Everything else is copper and brass, so I'll let that go. Same thing with these. Pretty. This is heavy. Heavy. Won't take many of them to really put some weight together. Put much of them. Let's go right here, a little copper strap. Copper strap. Nice. Number two copper. Right, no. There's not enough there for me to worry about. Let's move on to the next box. That's what I'm talking about. So as I take it apart. I'm going to throw my throw my stuff where it goes. All these breakers, I'm saving them for another another project. So one day, I'll be ready. Yeah, yeah. I know these pieces in here are heavy ass copper. Sometimes they're very difficult. They don't like to come out. 
Yeah, if you can get these four screws down here, the rest of it, you can beat it out of there with a hammer and call it good. Come on, big girl, get out of there. 